Hi, I wanted to explain to you a little bit about how to calculate your volume balance. Uh, I want you to think uh, you've got some sort of got some sort of ground, and then you want uh, that's what's real, and then let's say you want to put something over top of it like that. I don't know why, whatever. So you're gonna have areas of cut and you're gonna have areas of fill. Now, just looking at this, you can see there's more cut than there is fill. So what you're going to do is you're going to come up. There's two ways to do it, just mathematically, where cut is negative and fill is positive. And then you just add up all of the cuts and you add up all of the, the fills and you subtract them. That's the easiest way, and that's the way that I recommend. And the reason for that is that you've got all of these areas over the course of a site. You've either got to do what's in the ground, or you've got to calculate everything based on what goes in the truck. Can't do both. So let's say you've got, you know, 50 bank cubic yards of cut and 25 compacted cubic yards of fill. Those are both in the ground. But what goes in the truck is gonna be, that's supposed to be a 50. For some reason, stylus isn't working. So you've got 50 bank cubic yards of cut and 25 compacted cubic yards that you need of, or that in the ground, these are all in the ground. So it would be cut minus fill times one plus the swell. And that's how much would go in there. You don't figure the, and, and that would equal the loose cubic yards. This is an L. So you don't figure that until you figured your volume balance. So what if it was the other way around? Let's say that it was 25, sorry, that's horrible, and 50 of fill. Well, now you have more fill than you have cut, so you would do fill minus cut. This is the in-the-ground numbers. Then you do divided by the shrink, and that will give you your loose cubic yards. You cannot, I know that some previous answer keys showed this, and I, I'm sorry that they were released before I had seen that mistake. You cannot take cut, bank cut, minus loose fill, it's apples and oranges. You either start in the ground, or you could get both of them into loose quantities but you're gonna end up with a different answer. The best way is to figure out your balance in the ground. How much ground balance is there? How much ground fill? How much ground cut? And then you figure that difference. Then you apply the swell or the shrink as appropriate to figure out how many trucks you're gonna need. Hope that clears that up. Um, and if you have any questions, as always, Give me a ring. Thank you very much.